I need to install our own septic system on our off-grid property. This has been a lot of work and I'm not done yet. That is a lot of digging. I think I may need to upgrade a little bit. All right, you're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. Now, I promised an upgrade and I delivered on an upgrade. We need to get this done. We need to get it done fast. Now you see, I picked up a new tool. This is just the tip of the iceberg of all the digging we gotta do out here. So I got the jackhammer. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna see if it works to dig this hole. Had to special order it from Home Depot. They didn't carry it. They carry either the really heavy ones or a really light handheld one. I figure a medium sized one, this is like just over 30 pounds. We're gonna see how well it performs. Of course, in order to use the jack I'm gonna have to pull out the old generator. I haven't used this thing in a while. Hopefully it starts up okay. I'm just gonna have to do a little maintenance, get it ready. We are running on solar power, pretty much 100%, but I still have the generator around and it's a good thing. There are some times I think where we may need power and it might be farther away out here and I don't have access to it. That's why I think it's still a good idea to have a generator around. You just never know. So if anyone's familiar with our older videos before we got set up with solar, they're familiar with the Pulsar. It's been sitting for a while, so let's clean it up, do some maintenance on it, and uh, hopefully it's working. So maintenance on these things is very important. You invest a lot of money on one of these generators and you're gonna want it to last. So even though it actually is full of oil at this point, I'm gonna change it anyway just because I haven't used it in a while. Looks pretty good to me. Just looks about the high level. Don't want to add too much. I think this should be good to go. All right, it's been a while since this thing started, but I think it's still got some gas. Let's give it a go, see what happens. So I had a little trouble starting it on gasoline, but it's kind of low on gasoline. Let's see if it starts up on the propane. Now we're playing with portable power. Yeah! Now the cool thing about this, it comes with everything you need to get going. You gotta fill it with oil beforehand. It's got a little tube for oil, but it's also got some safety gloves, some safety glasses, comes with a couple of chisel pieces all the tools you need for maintenance. So I'm just gonna insert the chisel bit and I think it's ready to go. Let's put this thing to the test. Okay, so one thing I learned, be careful where you're using the jackhammer. Uh, I went in at an angle, kind of far away from the edge of where I was working. 
So I mean, this thing is, this thing just got stuck. I mean, I could keep going deeper with the jackhammer, but pulling it out is just impossible. As if I had cemented it in there. So since I'm not the king and I can't pull this sword out of the stone, I'm gonna have to find a way to get this thing out. Ugh. It's in there really good. I'm hoping this thing can withstand the uh, sledgehammer here. Whew, it's in there pretty good. Oh yeah. Got it. Now it still looks pretty intact from uh, <laughs> after heading it with the sledgehammer. Woo! All right, back to work. So I'm almost halfway through this trench. It's definitely been a challenging project so far, but I think with this tool, I think we can make it. At this point, the only weakness is right here. I'm trying to go through with the jackhammer. So I put the jackhammer aside, the generator's still running, and I'm trying to dig things out. So I'm finally bringing in a little help. Yeah! We're gonna double team this thing, double team Supreme. I'm gonna operate the jackhammer and she's gonna be digging and hopefully uh, we can get some kind of system just to kind of keep the work flowing. So once we turn the generator on, you know, I can kind of keep working the jackhammer. She'll be behind shoveling it out and hopefully we can get this done. Can we get this done today? Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's get it done! All right. One of the reasons why we even got this jackhammer is just because once you dig a couple feet down, we have to deal with caliche. So if you don't know what caliche is, it's basically a layer of subsoil, especially in the desert regions where it gets real dry. So basically that layer is just, it's a heavy mineral deposit, basically calcium carbonate right there in the soil. It's almost like a natural cement. It's tough to dig through. What we have here is sort of considered a soft caliche but uh, there are areas where it could, it could literally be like digging through cement. And if uh, the, the soil is able to just continue as it is, this will harden up and, and become much harder. So that's what we're trying to fight against. Let's get it done GDP style. Woo! What's up, girl? Finally in the trenches, huh? Man, you're knocking it out. She's a monster out here. By the way, I'm the only one that can call her a monster. She's the beauty and the beast. Is it alright if I say that? I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm Quasimodo. <laughs> oh yeah, we are making some serious progress out here. So far we've been at this for about an hour. And with Jessica out here, and the jackhammer probably made as much progress as I did in eight hours with the uh, pickaxe and the shovel. So we are really cooking here. I think we could get all this done by the end of the day. Come on, be with us, stay strong with us. We can do it. The day has come, the day has come. I have got something to show you. Come along, you gotta check this out. So that's right, we finally got our tank. We have been waiting on this thing forever. So the excavator put this together for us and he just got held up with a lot of things. So it just took forever for us to get this. Now this tank we paid $250 for. I was kind of in a position where I kind of had to because I really didn't know how it was supposed to be put together. But now that I have it, 
I can show all of you and you can avoid having to pay someone to put it together for you. Very simple. Anyone could totally put this together by themselves and it would probably be less money than what I had to put it together for. But as you can see, super simple, just a 55 gallon barrel. Apparently you want one with a removable lid. That way you can have access to the inside and that's gonna be important, I'll show you why. So you got your black pipe, which is your inlet pipe. It's where all the technically black water goes through. Mainly it consists of a three inch coupling, three inch black pipe going into a three inch T and a three inch black pipe going down. Now the white pieces are your exit pieces. And it is a, uh, it's a white baffle. It's got a little filter in there and it's a three inch PVC going into a three inch coupling. Okay, and just so if anyone's interested, the pipes are located approximately seven inches from the top of the barrel to the center of where the piping goes. Pretty easy to do it yourself. I think this pipe here costs about maybe $50, the uh, outflow pipe. And this thing probably costs about, I'd say probably $15 to $20. Depending on the cost of your barrel, probably could put this together yourself for $100 to $150. Save yourself a little bit of money doing it yourself. So one of the downsides is that I did not know how this barrel was going to be constructed. And some of the instructions I had for digging this septic, I got from the excavator and then I was talking to him again and it seemed like that almost changed. Probably just needs a three foot leech line and a three foot pit. Because this does not even need to get buried. Part of it actually has to be sticking out above the ground. I'll get into all that a little later. I mean, the next part is getting this into the ground. Well, the inspector come out, then I add some gravel. I gotta get another inspection, so we're gonna see how this all turns out. We're gonna see if everything meets the county code. So stick around, let's see how this all turns out. All right, we'll catch you on the next video.